All right, so we're here checking out this house uh, that I just found and um, wanna go ahead and lock this one down. Three bedrooms, one bath. Um, really great house, I'm excited about it. Doesn't require much at all. I'm just gonna check the flooring, make sure it's straight, but really just cosmetic, just some paint and I'll rip the carpet up and um, let's go through it, I'll let you see. So this is the living room. Actually, that ceiling fan is not in bad condition, to be honest with you. I could keep that same ceiling fan, just buy a light fixture to put on it. And of course, um, I love these signs. The best way to predict the future is to create it. Oh, I love that. So yeah, we'd be, we'd come in here and just paint. I love the fact it's got a little bookshelf, places for pictures. Um, at this point, I don't think I would redo the windows unless I'm putting in section eight. And section eight requires certain windows, then I would go ahead and do that. Um, but we would see what section eight would want. But this is the living room, again, just cosmetic, painting, and of course, ripping up the carpet. Um, we're definitely, uh, it's got two things of carpet up there. Let's see what's here. I'd like to see what the floor looks like. It looks like it has even more carpet down there. So, I just want to check out the flooring, put down on some LPD stuff that's going to last for like 30 years. Wouldn't have to worry about it because see with the carpet is so dirty. If you have animals or kids, they're peeing on it. But when you got that LPD, it's less maintenance. Might be a little bit more expensive, but it's less maintenance and you're talking about 20, 30 years. So this, another bedroom again, like I said, might consider replacing the windows. I probably would because at the end of the day, this is all cosmetic. I love that, live beyond words. Laugh. Whoever had this house was a positive person. I like that. So it's got good energy, good vibes. I've already got the cable wires here. This is a closet. So, again, just paint. Um, I wouldn't even keep this door. Paint it. Um, the doorknob is pretty decent. And let's go through this way. Um, it's got central heat, central air. Hopefully that works. That'll be a big plus. Got another closet here. And we've got another room. This looks like it might be the master bedroom. It's bigger. Once again, painting, replacing the window. We've got the closet here. The great thing is in here is cleaned out, no junk to take out. Here's another closet. Uh, so we get rid of all this junk, not a whole lot. It's a brand new shirt right there, look at that. All right, and then let's go take a look at the bathroom. One of the things I noticed about the bathroom, new flooring. So it's got the LPV already in here. I would just simply match that all the way through the house, the same color. And I would throw gray on the walls, paint um, all my trimmings really, really white, make it really, really beautiful. I would keep the same door. I would change the door hinges, make it look uh, a lot nicer, but paint it and come in here. Like I said, um, looks like a fairly new toilet. I know you can't tell from looking at it like that, but it looks like a fairly new toilet. So I may let that stay. Um, got an exhaust fan, that's a plus. I would, re, I would put in a new mirror, put in a new light fixture. And of course, I would probably keep this bottom half and just find a sink to go on top with nicer uh, faucets. And of course, with the bathroom, I would keep this tub. And I would probably put in a new tub surround and the reason why I would do that is because it makes it look better and you're, you can get them for like $89 to $100 and plus they would have the pockets on the side where you could put your shampoo and stuff which allows for the showings on the side which allows for a, a lot more room. But this is a nice size bathroom. This is a three bedroom, one, one uh, bathroom house. And yeah, and I would probably instead of this because I never really like these over the toilet, I would put shelving on the wall to give them more spacing uh, to put things and get rid of that because and the reason why they needed all this is because they didn't have anything for the bathroom the shelving in the bathroom to put the you know all these essentials so yeah i would put a shelf up here for that so those are two bedrooms on this side a closet two closets and then this is the living room we just came out of front door and then we come around here to the kitchen again putting the lpv all the way through that's probably the most expensive thing that i do in here Putting the LBV all the way through, <clears throat> uh, painting that door, of course, tearing down all this ugly wallpaper, and painting it again gray. Um, I would paint the cabinets white. I would keep these same cabinets, would not rip them out. 
um, cause they look to be in great condition. The only thing I would do is change the handles. Change, the floor seems weak here, so I'm definitely replacing the floor. And I can tell there's probably a leak, so I'll be replacing the floor in here. But, uh, but yeah, just change the handles and bring them up to date with, like that. Uh, make sure we check this flooring, probably has to be replaced. And um, a new stove. And inside here is almost like a pantry type area because it's got a light, which is a great thing, but it also houses the water heater. So if you can see there, it looks like might have been a leak or something, and maybe that's why the flooring is so weak up in here. So we get that checked out and replaced. And uh, have, I'll probably put shelves on the wall because I don't know what this is. I don't, I don't know what that is. I want to find out what that is. And I put shelves on the wall just for them to be able to put food up there. And then as we come out here, so it's enough room, there's vents, it's enough room for a table in here. Well, let's go here first. So, I don't know, I guess this would be a dining area, sunroom or something like that. Again, I would probably change the light fixture on the ceiling fan, keep that same ceiling fan. Um, of course, um, I would either paint the paneling or put sheetrock over the paneling because this paneling is like an old school feel. So I would definitely do that. It wouldn't cost that much to put sheetrock over it. And then you come into this place. <laughs> this is a room, but of course for section eight, at least in South Carolina, section eight, for it to be considered a room, it has to have a closet. So somehow or another, I would have to factor in building a closet in here if I want to really qualify this as a three bedroom, if I'm putting a section eight tenant in here. If I'm not putting a section eight tenant, it wouldn't matter. You know, I would still call it a three bedroom, but to get paid for section eight, it has to have a closet. So. And then that comes back out. So that's the three bedroom. And then you come out here. And I love this addition. I'll just let you go out and show them. It's got a washer and dryer out there. So uh, the person does not have to go somewhere else and do laundry. They can do it all right here. So not a bad buy at all for this house. I really, really like it. I like what I'm seeing. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this one under contract. Let you guys know how it goes. That's it.